Hello and welcome to the uh, Orcon Live Room. You're with Radioactive FM. Uh, special thanks to New Zealand on Air for this as well. Um, yeah, pleasure to have my baby in this year. It's really awesome. Because um, you guys have a show tonight as well, right? At Meow? That's right. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, thank you for being here. It's thanks for having very us. Very good to have you. Yeah, sweet. So... Um, I just wanna wanna go into before I get you to you know play a track. Um, you you draw on a lot of different genres within your music. Um, like from track to track, you'll have a, a whole different thing going. What do you feel is like a way to describe your music to someone who say hasn't heard you before, but you know you can't just play them one song because they might not understand that you've got a whole other thing going. What do you think is the the continuous thread? I guess. Well, at the moment, we, we refer to it as Ritz-inspired hypnotic dance. Nice. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of folk and blues-inspired music, yeah. but then played in a more dancey way. But we sort of evolve every year, so it, it changes. So next year, we'll probably have to think of something. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually Fair the most enough. difficult part of this <laughs> band, you know, describing <laughs> yeah. it in a few words. I, yeah. I can only imagine, yeah. Um, how do you feel? Because uh, you have the, the new album that's come out last year. How, would, how do you pronounce that as well? don't want to... I want to mark that one up. The um, Munaiki? Munaiki. Yeah. That's Actually, it. Just, it, it, it just came out l oh, last, last year. year yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is 20 minutes. Yeah, it feels this weird, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I have to have the thought in my mind, too. Yeah. But yeah. So, but October, yeah. yeah, last year. Yeah, and Munaiki. that's awesome. That was a, a few years after your, your last last album. I just wonder yeah. the sort of the transition or like what you've sort of been doing differently between those albums, would you say? It just was <laughs> true. <laughs> Bandcamp is lying to me. Said yeah. the last one was yeah, yeah, 2017. Was 17, I think, yeah, oh, 2017. True. Okay. Yeah, so there was prehistoric rhythm. Yeah. And um, the last one that came out is uh, Munaiki. And I mean, we've been every between every album, we've been playing loads of shows. So yeah. a lot of times, you know, the the, the sound is evolving and um, and we're changing. And, and we try to challenge ourselves in in writing. And when writing new albums to to look even for more broader broader um, influences yeah. than we already <laughs> are influenced by, <laughs> so we're making it ourselves uh, even even more difficult. But for this last album, we um, we were also inspired by actually our their own story that's been around um, for the music and for the band from the beginning on. Actually, because yeah. we've always had this. This girl in mind, this muse, this phantom muse, or uh, how do you call it, character that we always had in mind while writing um, for the band, because since we had three piece and we actually, we're really a band, so we'd, we're not, we always haven't been interested in in sharing like very personal stories, yeah. or so we always had inspiration from this this fictional character that um, that was my baby and that. Um, was going on at different adventures and you know, this so this last album we tried to focus more on her and kind of write it, the music accompanying a story about her that Daniel's been writing. And there's there's bits and pieces of stories and scenes about her on the previous albums. True. So there's always uh, this is, it's always been in our minds, but now we've tried to to let it out there or yeah, like Yeah, we try to develop that a bit more. Yeah. Just that yeah. side of ourselves and um, so there's more storytelling involved on, on this album compared to the last one which was more focused on, on capturing the live energy of the live shows. Yeah. So we tried to write material that would convert very well to that. I see, but this stage. is a bit more of like So a there's, there's a little bit a more theatrics involved and we try and put that in the live show as well. So Sweet. tonight as well in Meow we'll, we'll try and combine those two elements of my baby. Awesome, that's very exciting. Um, so yeah, we'll get you to play play something. Is this one the first track from the new album? It's not the first track, but it was the first track that we released from this album, just before we released the album. It's called In The Club. Ah, I really like this one. <laughs> I'm excited. But it's also, <laughs> it's an acoustic version, because you know, we yeah. we're all like set up in Meow now, so we could only just bring some acoustic guitars ah, to yes, uh, this session. So I'm going to try to do it justice. Specifically, Sweet. look forward to it. Yeah. All right? Cool. Yep. After midnight, 
we'd be dancing, getting thirsty. I go deep and down, they keep looking, looking through me, whilst I stumble, stumble deeper down. Doors are closing, dreary night is made a promise. It won't never end. Is there someone here to save me? No, there's no one. I go deeper down, I go deeper down. Come on in my door, cause it's gonna be raining outdoors. Come on in my door, bound to get some more sugar. Glasses on the table, plenty of sugar on the bottom. I raise them curtains and I start singing. Need a spoonful to go deep and down, to go deep and down, to go deep and down. Such a fun song. Sweet. Um, one thing that I find really interesting is how that song transitioned into the next one on the album. I feel like that track almost is, you know, it's like going into the city, like, you know, to, to get excited to, you know, escape maybe. And then the, the track after feels a bit more like introspective, perhaps. Just kind of, this is my take on your whole narrative <laughs> scenario. But I was wondering if you could sort of expand on what you sort of envision for that, for that part of the album. Yeah, well, it starts off with this girl venturing into the city, trying to find some sort of spark, some sort of adventure. And she ends up going into a club, becoming a dancer on a stage, as if it's a sort of strange dream she falls into. Um, but something goes wrong, and she actually, well, she doesn't manage to really um, capture the audience's attention. So then she sort of falls down and passes out and, and falls into this other dream. So it's sort of a series of dreams, really, uh, almost. So it's very dreamlike <laughs> storytelling. Um, Alice in Wonderland sort of yeah. style of storytelling. And I think the introspective song that you're talking about is title. Help me out. Oh. Uh, the song after End of Club. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, got a, it's got a title. Yeah. I think it's got silhouette. Yes. Silhouette. Yes. Silhouette. Wow. I was blind. Yeah. <laughs> I was Pretty dreaming. Bad. Yeah. Me too. I was like. Every yeah. time I talk, <laughs> what you're talking dream about. Away, yeah. 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 Just, I put him to sleep every yeah. time. <laughs> My voice. But um, everybody doing it. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, that's meditation a, a little um, explanation of, of what happens in the story, but yeah, uh, probably a bit too much to get into for, for this half hour. Yeah, <laughs> no, fair enough, fair enough. Um, did want to uh, touch on how you've been doing in New Zealand thus far, because you've, you've played a few shows since you've been, been here. How's it all been going? Well, we had the honour to, to, to do uh, Rhythm and Alps, yeah, that's New Year's so. show, so that was a lot of fun. So we got to do the countdown and everything, and uh, so that sort of kicked it off for us, this tour, so it was, it was quite intense, but it was a lot of fun. And um, we did Christchurch last week, which was fantastic, but a good amount of people come to that show, so it was uh, party time in Christchurch. So, and uh, Wellington has always treated us very well, so we're really excited to play tonight. Awesome. And, uh, have, have a party here as well, so yeah, Friday night. For last sure. year we were playing Coachella and we didn't really play a show in Wellington, so ah, uh, yeah, our own like ticketed event. So looking forward. Well, yeah, it's great yeah. to have you in the capital, because um, I know that part of the band is from New Zealand. Yes, I That's me. take it. Yeah, from <laughs> from the accents, <laughs> right you know, we we yeah. make the the calls too. Uh, where in New Zealand are you from? Um, all around the South Island. Well, my mum's from Timaru. Ah, uh, yeah. I've I sort of lived all around, mostly South Canterbury and. Nelson area, Otago, everywhere really. Sweet. Before and I left for Europe and met these guys, so I've, I've been in Amsterdam now for 13 years. True. So do you get to come back to New Zealand often, or is this kind of this, been a this, while? The sixth year in a row. Ah, so true. Well, that's awesome. As, <laughs> it started off as a one-off, because I thought, I've, I've been gone for like five years. I see. I thought, guys, maybe we can do a tour, and I get to go home, and yeah. guys get to go to New Zealand, and, and here we are, six years. On still doing it. So we fell in love. You know, we, don't like it. we don't like <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh, that's great to hear. Yeah. Every year he drags us to the other side. <laughs> You've yeah. got to yeah. come. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we hate the, the sun and, and the warmth, so it's yeah. terrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We really want to sit now in, in the winter in Amsterdam and enjoy some snow, but uh, so, yeah, I have to force that we're to here. <laughs> <laughs> Getting suntan. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put on that sunscreen. The sun's pretty harsh yes. out here. <laughs> Sweet. Well, uh, yeah, we'll get you to play another song. What do you have lined up for us next? Um, we'll play the first one. of. Is it a, Actually, it's the second song of the new record. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it starts off with a kind of a more intro, s intro track. So this is like the first song where, um, yeah, where the, the story starts. With it's the title track. Yeah, title when track of the album. Beautiful. And also, we're going to try to you know, oh play yeah. this acoustic. I think it's the first time we're doing an acoustic version of this song. Thank you. Yes. It's a beautiful uh, violin. Uh, thank you. It's, it's, real, it's purple and, and shiny. <laughs> Actually, I was born in Wellington, uh, in Alistair's. Oh, so six years, five years ago, I think. I oh, so it's a proper Wellingtonian. Yeah, it's wow. hung by oh, this right now. The shiny yeah. and purple prince would yeah. have wanted it. I think. The violin is right at home. Violin for Prince. Um, yeah. Yep. Sweet. No. Yeah. All right. Cool. When you're ready.
that track on our radioactive wow. playlist oh, cool. so it's yeah, it's awesome really yeah. nice. it's it's awesome to hear it in a, in a live setting yeah. we've never done it like this, this way. <laughs> well yeah. couldn't tell it all beautiful beautiful performance um what can people expect uh from your performance at meow in terms of other instruments like what are what are we missing here well, normally well, and I'm, now i'm playing the violin I, I play a few tracks of violin but normally i play the guitar and the bass in the, in the band and and I'm now banging on like the, the guitar case, which uh, <laughs> so maybe usual. I'm going to throw my drums away. This is cool. Yeah, it's got a great sound this to it. This is cool. Like so. Yeah, it saves a lot of space a lot in the of van as well. <laughs> Setting up and stuff, and, you know, yeah. falling in love. <laughs> but yeah, normally it's full drum setup and so. bass guitar, electric guitars and everything. So it's He's electric guitar. Very much yeah. so, yeah. more amplified than now yeah. but um Lime. but this is fun we don't get to do this very often exactly and good uh, to mix it up i'm sure we're, just, we're just rediscovering ourselves so <laughs> thank you for that beautiful no on worries the <laughs> yes, stay on the street <laughs> please <Busking. Yeah. laughs> should do some busking <laughs> for sure um one thing i did want to ask you about um i read read on the internet uh that you were uh, like the ambassadors of for freedom or something like that last year i was just curious as to what that sort of meant and what what that involved for you? Yeah, th that's a thing in uh, it's a thing in Holland, <laughs> and actually it's uh, Liberation Day. Yeah, is, uh, it's around Liberation this, uh, Day. There's um, there's always three acts. Well, it's actually like every town has got a big stage in mm -hmm. some in the middle of, of, of the, like a big park, and they have like uh, bands all day long and for everybody to free music and. Uh, yeah, three bands are chosen every year to be the ambassadors of freedom. I see. And so is there some sort of, like, I don't know, performance to raise awareness about certain yeah. things? Yeah, it's, it's always, always awareness days. for freedom. Yeah. Yeah. It's a liberation day and it's, you know, from the past. And, and nowadays, actually, it's, it's, it's most to create awareness for the freedom that we have you know, in Holland, especially that you know, there's no war and we have the freedom that it's normally we don't even... You know, people don't even, like, notice yeah. that or... Yeah. Um, and so every every act also gets to to choose a topic, you know, within the whole subject of freedom to um, 
to create a bit more awareness even. So we went to make shoot a little video, like a little documentary about people at the borders, being stuck at the borders in Europe, because so, there's loads of people you know, of course, like coming yeah. to Europe. And they live there in camps, and um, you know, a lot of times people don't know how what, what kind of people there are there, and so we we normally we drive past all these borders and we, with our passport we get to drive everywhere and just uh, enter, leave every exactly. country we that we want. Granted, yeah, for sure. and we take that for granted a lot of times. So we were like, okay, this we travel a lot, and this is our you know, most you know our freedom is in our ability to travel like this, and those people are definitely don't have those abilities and that kind of freedom. So we chose to visit them at the border and just speak to the people, make yeah. some music together and just shoot a little documentary to create awareness uh, about that in Holland. Yeah, that's such yeah. a good cause to do something about. That's really yeah. cool. Can people just find this documentary on it's YouTube or something on like YouTube, that? Yeah. 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 On yeah, on the Serbian border. Yeah, I see. Um, one and a half year ago. So that was, it was an interesting year being able to do that and having yeah. that privilege to that role. Yeah, I can imagine. And, um, and, and play some la big shows all around the country uh, that involved that as well. So it was, it was a pretty big year. Yeah. You go from helicopter with a helicopter from city to city. Oh, wow. Yeah, we <laughs> so four it's shows. Kind of a big, big, <laughs> yeah. big honor to do that. So. Sorry, we can't do that for you in New Zealand. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> You can take the ferry to the South Island. Yeah, that yeah. could be nice. We just do the inter-islander. And <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can't beat it, you know, in my humble opinion. Uh, <laughs> sweet. Well, yeah, I guess we'll get you to play another another song. What yeah. What you think? Yeah, and this next? Well, it's, it's good that you talk about this topic because the song we're actually going to play now is uh, we wrote it um, after going visiting the borders. And so it's... Uh, you know, it's inspired by our travels to the border. It's called Borderline, actually, the song we're going to play. <laughs> there you so, go. Um, yeah, it's a vision of what we s what we saw there. And decided to write a song about it, and it fits in the story as well. This is like as if Munaiki is is looking out of the window and watching, you know, the camps go by and watching the people there. So, sweet. That's, uh, Take it away. It's borderline. I think we started already. <laughs> Behind the 
so much um, so again show at meow tonight uh, what time what time will you be expected to you know start things off there uh, nine o'clock doors and sweet we'll probably rock on stage at around just before 10 cool yeah so, so be there and people can still get tickets yeah, yeah. tickets are still at the door so um, cool you can still rock up there and enjoy the festivities yeah. sweet awesome yeah so if you you at home not doing anything tonight. Wanna wanna check out some beautiful music? Head on down to Meow. Should be should be a nice show. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. Um, yeah, with the uh, the active live room. Shouts out to New Zealand on here and Orcon. Sweet. <laughs> 